Hello and welcome back and that's right today I'm going to show you the proper way to back up your Google Photos account to your QNAP NAS. Now full disclaimer straight off the bat this is not the first time I've tackled this subject. Now we're screen recording right now we're connected to a QNAP NAS that is it's slightly off camera here a QNAP TS464 and in the past I have produced guides which allow you to synchronize with your Google storage and your QNAP NAS. Indeed earlier in 2021 I produced this guide on how to synchronize your QNAP uh, sorry your Google storage and I even made a video detailing how to synchronize all those together utilizing several of the QNAP tools that are included with the system. However very shortly after I produced both that video and that article Google changed a lot of its storage and one of the things it changed was completely separating the Google Photos storage away from the Google Drive storage. There was a long period of time when you could access your photos through the Google Drive outlet there. Now when that happened it caused one big upset and that is that because you can't access your photo storage via Google Drive and again your photo storage is what your phone is generally backing up to with your Google account the result was that you couldn't just synchronize it natively with the QNAP NAS you could use some applications like QMaggie and PhotoStation installed on your mobile device and therefore when you took photos from that moment forward it would synchronize it but you couldn't synchronize Google Photos but luckily some new um, updates have happened in QNAP that have allowed a great little means to do this and a big part of that is to do with this application here M-A-R-S now this is a multi-application replication service M-A-R-S now this application is available for pretty much any QNAP NAS. It's included, it's completely free it is a first party application you can find it in the App Center download it like you would any other app doesn't have any kind of extra things it need a, uh, adding in there I'm not even sure it runs in a container it's just a nice native app there that once you run it you open it up the MAIS multi-application recovery I should say service there and then from there from within this user interface you can now establish a connection with your Google Photos account and that's what I'm going to do today I'm going to show you exactly how to do it and I'm not just going to show you how to do it I'm going to set it up with you so we're going to use our disposable NAS compares gmail account that we and that photo account that we've used previously so the first thing we're going to want to do is just to show you that this works we're going to take ourselves a fresh photo so we're going to get the camera we're going to go for a nice selfie photo there and we're going to take a picture so now we've got that photo there and again what i'm going to do is make sure that on the camera this photo is being backed up to the cloud so again i'm going to select the photo there and i'm going to back it up so once that's going on there, what we can do is have a look at our Google Photos account. We've already set it up. We've got loads and loads of photos there that we've synchronized with the device. And then on the side of the QNAP, what we need to do is go into the MARS application, head into the Google Photos tab, which will be available on the left-hand side. And from there, select Add Service. Now, give the service a name. In this case, I'm going to call it Google Photos. And then, for, oh, I could spell photos right there, couldn't I, by looking at it. And then next, select Connect with Google Photos. Now, if you've not already synchronized your Google account, as you can see here, with your uh, web browser, go ahead and go through the authentication process, as you're seeing here on screen. It will ask you for permissions, and that you trust the application that you're synchronizing it with. And then from there, click Continue. It will now forge that connection, that synchronized uh, connected pipeline between Google Photos on your account and that of the QNAP NAS. From there, click Apply. Now, from there, we can see that the service has now been added. The next thing we need to do is create a job, a backup job. So from there, in the Backup tab here on the left, select there, and then select Create Backup Job. From here, select Google Photos, and then from there, name the job. So we're going to call this one Google NAS. From there, we can give it a description. We're not going to be too bothered about that. The next thing we need to do is select the source, which, as we've said, we've already synchronized our Google account for our Google Photos account. Then the select the destination. So this will list all the available shared folders and directories on your QNAP NAS. So for my sake, I'm going to select multimedia. 
I'm going to select that folder and I'm going to create a brand new folder here and just call this one Google Photos Sync. Then we click apply, make sure we've got a tick next to that and then click select. And there you go, it's now got that added. Now there are other options here we'll talk about in just a moment, but for now we can go ahead and either choose to back up the entirety of that Google Photos account or we can go ahead and select a specific album. So if you've already created sub albums on your Google Photos account, you can select them here so they are the only ones being backed up. Otherwise, so what we'll do is we'll select the collage folder there. What you can do from there, if you choose to, is synchronize just those individual folders. But when you your photo is backing up generally with the automated settings within the Photos app for uh, Android, do bear in mind it doesn't put them in preset folders. You will have thousands of photos loose. So whether you want to back those all up in their thousands via Google Photos onto your QNAP, or you wish to sort them out in folders on your phone first or via the desktop application, that's really up to you. But as you can see, now you can choose whether you want to run a schedule or to action this manually. So you can set this up that at once, every single day at a certain time of day, you can have it running. So for me, I'm gonna leave it as run a schedule and run this schedule, let's say, every single day. And we're gonna no, we're gonna do uh, every single day, and we're gonna set this up at say 1 a.m. Don't worry, we can action it manually at any time if we choose. And that's it. We can also enable versioning if we choose. So then you can have multiple backups, whereby every backup you make is lined up and therefore you can roll back to a historical data backup rather than having just one repository that's getting backed up incrementally internally if you choose to there but of course do bear in mind that by doing this you will increase the total amount of nas storage capacity you're in, uh, you're accruing and taking up but that said given the cost of google space and how much it costs to add on just a few hundred gigabytes or a terabyte here or there uh, per week, per month, per year, having it on a NAS is exponentially more cost effective in terms of storage there and long term in terms of 10 to 20 years down the line. As you can see, I'm now actioning that backup and the backup we've created here was just backing up a single folder I called montages. So if we see our collages, I should say, and as you can see here, in this folder for collages, there'll be a slight slowdown right now as my network is now downloading and uploading. There's a collage of different images there I've used for different reviews, all of them on screen. And that's in my Google Photos account. Whereas now on my QNAP, it's running that synchronization. So if we choose to, we can head into the file station application, go into file station, open it up here on screen, and we'll see here in the multimedia, there is our Google Photos Sync folder. And in there, it will already have started our backup of that folder. And as you can see there, now we can see all of the photos that we've been backing up to this NAS. Now, from this point on, it's up to you what you want to do, how you manage your backups and more. If we choose to, what we can do is go ahead and use some of the preset QNAP applications, which we can then use some of the AI powered services. So if you've just come to this video, just to know how to synchronize with Google Photos, there you go. But if you want to know the next step on making the most of photos on your QNAP, stick around. Now, once this photo data is being backed up from Google Photos over to QNAP NAS, now it's time for the QNAP to take care of things in terms of photography. And to do that at its very best, I recommend installing two applications. The first one is called Multimedia Console. It is a single uh, GUI, a single portal point that allows you to manage all indexing, thumbnails, conversions, everything to do with multimedia on your NAS via a single window. As you can see, I've installed it here, and the next application we're going to need to install is called QMAGI. It is their AI-powered photo recognition tool. Now again, both of these applications are available in the App Center, and both of these applications are available on the majority of QNAP NAS. The MARS application and QMAGI indeed are available on both Intel and ARM-based processors across all of the different product families. 86 and 64-bit ARM ones there, as well as the multimedia application, almost available on most systems that support QTS5, so you will have to take advantage of those. But once you've done that, what you need to do is open up that application, uh, the multimedia console tool, and then from there, go to indexing or content management, depending on how and when you've installed it. 
If you go into Content Management, you'll find QMaggie. From QMaggie, head into the Edit tab down here. This will list all of the different um, folders that are listed on Multimedia Console to index and find multimedia. Now, you may have noticed earlier on when I added my Google Photos account onto the MARS application, it gave me the option to already add it straight away to my um, Multimedia Console list and indeed QMaggie. But if you didn't have that option there or you hadn't installed QMaggie and Multimedia Console already when you synchronize those two, what you need to do is just go straight into the selected folders and find that folder that you created during the setup of your um, application of Google Photos to QNAP NAS using the MARS app. Once you put a tick next to it, select Apply. When you've done that, the system will begin indexing. Lucky for you, I've already completed the indexing here. But if we choose to, we can just go ahead and start it at any time by going into that indexing option I mentioned earlier. Once the indexing's done, you can head into the QMaggy application. And the QMaggy application allows you to browse photos, but with AI support supported photo recognition. This allows facial recognition thing recognition and subject recognition too. So if you go into the people recognition, it would have browsed all of the photos that you've backed up and then collected all of the faces that are similar into individual paddocks there. So as you can see, there's a photo of me, which I can go ahead and call Robbie and it's collecting it there. Again, the photos you're seeing here are from a previous backup. However, new photos that I've backed up will now be synchronized within QMaggie to allow us to be able to see our Google Photos directly from within the QMaggie interface there. And as you can see, the indexing has completed and all of those photos that were on our Google Drive are now synchronized with our, um, not our Google Drive, our Google Photos are synchronized with our QNAP NAS there, all of which happening in real time. All of it being backed up with synchronization and information being carried over. Now, at the moment, I'm not entirely certain how much of the metadata is being scraped, the JSON files there. There's every possibility there will have to be an update to MARS in order for that to happen. I think as long as it's synchronizing that data, Google has a tendency to strip the JSON data, the, some of the metadata from photos that are backed up, which you can obtain separately by backing, uh, going to Google Takeout. And again, how much of that information is going to be drawn over is still yet to be seen. If we go in, for example, to the NAS here, and we go into File Station, and we look at those files that we've backed up, and we right click and go into Properties, from there, we're able to see the permissions and the properties of the file, but we can't see any of the metadata. So for now, maybe in a future update, we're gonna see those JSON metadata files also be backed up there. But as you can see, the photo I took earlier on is backed up to Google Drive there. And if we choose to, we can just go straight ahead and add that new photo to this app if we choose. Simply going in to our synchronized backup, we can edit this backup at any time if we choose. And then from there, if we want, by editing this backup, we can add new files and folders, we can action a backup very easily, or we can change which of the folders are being backed up in real time. All of them with adaptability built in through and through. And again, if we select all, then it will back up the history of this particular Google Photos account. And there you go. That is how you can back up your Google Photos account and your entire collection of photos to your QNAP NAS now. And again, this applies to the most powerful and the weakest of QNAP NASs, regardless of hardware architecture. Pretty much everything we've done today can be used on your system. And I've got to say, this is the first app I've seen that allows you to back up properly the Google Photos account, not just your Google Drive, as I listed in my previous content there from 2021. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully a full written guide on this will be available in the next few days and linked in the description. If it is, you'll find it down there. If not, come back in a day or so. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We're going to be doing lots of software guides in January of 2023, so look out for those. But Thank you so much for watching. Visit the links in the description if I have helped you today because there are more guides down there. Please subscribe to learn more. Like if you've enjoyed the video. It really helped us out. The free advice section over on NAS Compares, the free community forum on Ask NAS Compares. And if this video has helped you, and if you were going to buy from Amazon anyway, then why not use the links in the description to buy from Amazon, not just QNAP NAS or any data storage product. By using those links, anything you purchase, we get a small kickback 
and it goes right the way back into NAS Compares that allows us to keep doing what we do. But again, only if this video helped you and only if you were going to shop from there anyway. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.